Boyle, uh, my known as kickboxing and uh, fitness, excuse me. Um, tell, tell us what's new with you. What have you been up to lately? Um, well, I made a kind of big change in my life. Work-wise, I did kind of leave the position that I was in, uh, working full-time. So I'm working, but I made a lot more time to train. Um, so I know this is my biggest challenge yet coming up, so... I mean, I do want to go back to school, and there are other goals and things that I'm working on right now, but this is definitely something that's top priority. I want to have more time to train, get ready for this uh, tournament in January, and uh, I see what happens. How excited <laughs> are you about being able to fight twice in one night? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, I was thinking about it the other day. There's so much adrenaline that's still in me after a fight. You know, anybody, you know, just, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, no, anybody that fights me, you still have such, you know, like, you feel you're like invincible right after a fight. So, you know, I'm excited to see how that carries into the second one. You know, depending on how the first one goes, we'll see, you know, if, if it goes distance, if, you know, if it's a shorter fight, we'll see. I mean, I've never fought less than three rounds, so. We'll see if it's the distance, uh, almost the distance in every one of your fights. Yeah, any, any early stoppage was still in the last round of the fight, so we'll see if, you know, I can make it a little quicker than that, but we'll see. Because <laughs> it'll probably benefit you later on in the yeah. evening. But. Yeah, or, or it could be, you know, maybe it'll work against me. Maybe, you know, it's too much time sitting down, but I mean, it's not a huge difference. Now, they've announced four, uh, three other ladies yes. in the tournament. Yes. They haven't announced the other four. Right. Um, what are your thoughts on who already is it announced? Participating in um, I'm excited. I really am excited for, for the names that I've seen so far. Um, I know two of them pretty well. One of them I've fought before, so I'm excited to get back in there to see how, uh, how you know, how different we are with each other. This time it's our second matchup. If it ends up coming out, because we don't know who we're going to fight until weigh-ins, and you know, anything could happen after that first round. So we'll see from there. Another girl I have trained with her in the past. You know, just kind of travel sparring and whatnot. So. And we're friends, so you know it's, it's unfortunate, you know, potentially having to fight one of your friends, and that's why we need more girls in the scene. So, so we'll see. But um, you know, she and I have spoken. I mean, it's it's all love. The only the only time that we're not friends is during those six minutes. So <laughs> that's about it. But uh, I know the other girl; she's a boxer too. I don't know uh, too much. That's, I know she's um, got some experience, though. She's definitely got a, a good number of fights. I think she she won something pretty big recently in the boxing world, not kickboxing, but. I'm excited okay. to get in there with her too. Are you, do you like the idea of picking your account, the weigh-ins, and then the brackets filled out from there? It's so different that I'm excited for it. Okay. I, I, I've never experienced anything like that. You know, in any you know kind of sports that I've experienced in the past, there's never been that kind of last minute, you don't know who you're up against. Um, but we'll see. It's very different, very new. But. I'm open to it and excited for it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, you, you've kind of evolved and you keep improving every mm -hmm. fight. We see you, you just keep getting better and better. Thank you. Last fight, you finished your car with a devastating head kick. <laughs> no joke, I thought a head exploded because there was just blood and sweat flying in the air. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get it all here. <laughs> it was all over us. But, I, I was um, told that I, I still owe Jenny Nadell a beer because I got some of her blood in it. So. Yeah, she's pretty funny girl, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it builds confidence, but I mean, I would be concerned if I wasn't improving. I'm still <laughs> relatively new to fighting. I just came up on my one year anniversary of my first fight. So, yes, I've fought a decent amount of times since I started, and I fought kind of a faster pace, but in this amount of time, I should be improving a lot because, you know, if I. I'm not at a point where I'm just cruising with, you know, the talent that I'm at is the talent that I'm at. You know, I'm, I, there's always room to get better. Um, sorry, did I just, did I just too much? Okay, I'm sorry. trying to get more of you in the camera. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Um, no, I mean, it's a confidence booster. There, I mean, there are rounds that I feel like, wow, I, I did well today. You know, if it's sparring or just drilling or something. And there are my days that I, I feel terrible. I was just joking with my training partners the other day that, the days that I have to drag myself to the gym, that I'm like, I don't want to go. I have my best rounds those days. And those days that I'm excited to get there, like I'm looking forward to it all day, it's like I've never put the pair of gloves on before. Like I don't know what's going on. So, you, know, you never want to know what's going to happen with training, with, you know, fighting itself. You just got to put the work in and then you got to, you know, trust yourself and your training and your training partners that you're ready for it and know that you're ready for it. Now, a lot of people always say, you know, I, I put all, all of myself into the sport and all. You hear that a lot, but you don't always see it. Like, yeah. you know, obviously, you see a lot of people go to the gym, but you have you definitely immersed yourself in the sport. Like, right? you've seen at Triton fights, you're always fighting either, you're either at or you're training at the fighting. So yeah. like, 
at Bobby Campbell's Jackhammer promotions. You're all over the place when it comes to <laughs> MMA right now. And then you're at Freedom, you're at uh, No Limits, yeah. and that's where you're working. Mm-hmm. Um, how much has this changed in your life? Just Oh, totally. Totally, totally, totally. It's, it's crazy. But I think something you mentioned that I'm always at Triton fights and, and the other fights, even when I'm not fighting. It's super important to me to go to those events. I mean, not only do I love going to the fights, I mean, Triton was the first fight I ever went to. So that's always going to, that promotion is always going to hold a special place in my heart. But, um, but so many of my friends and teammates fight on those cards that I, I know what they put in. Like, I, that, that, the mindset the torture that you can put yourself through and mm-hmm. you know cutting weight and getting for ready for a fight and fight camp whatnot it's super important that they have that support too like i ask people to you know spend their money and their time coming to a fight that i've trained for how could i not go and support all my friends and my teammates even if you know we're not from the same gym i have friends in other places i always want to make sure that they have you know a huge crowd cheering for them too so if i can do that i want to be there and hell yeah <laughs> why wouldn't i go <laughs> no it's awesome though that you really definitely dive in your yeah. you know, first and yeah. participate you're at Madison Square you're at Nara, you got the right. fights right. the Bobby Campbell show you're all over the place so. <laughs> and then you're uh, your sidekick the other half of, of uh, the Long Dream King with the face punching <laughs> uh, how's Christy doing she's great uh, she's, she's got great. a big fight going on and some yes. card you're fighting she on. is very excited for that very very excited we were just going over some of our our training schedule and so her is what hers is, mine is, and we can, you know, figure out where we can cross train with each other. She can have no limits like run a run around MMA. So we get some work in at both places, you know, change the scenery, which is good. And then working with each other is always, you know, good for both of us. So now are you gonna continue doing the Sunday the morning or afternoons yes. uh, training because oh, I know yes. Paige also went there. She well. does. Yeah, we try. Uh, we, we keep our distance from each other. I was supposed to go today. Is, Jenny, I'm sorry. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I'm sick. And, and Paige is also fighting next week. I think I don't want to get yeah, sick. Right, so yeah. you know, if I know somebody's fighting and I'm sick, I'm not gonna go. You know, it's not. It's not about me. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't want to you know mess with anybody's camp, especially fight week. So. Uh, but yeah, Sunday sparring is definitely a thing. Like I said, Paige and I, we're friends. So, you know, the only time that we're not friends is when, you know, we're both in the ring and that those rounds are live. But um, we just, we won't be in each other's rotation when we're at Sunday sparring and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah. And uh, how much would it mean to you to capture this crown? You, know, you would have to win three fights to, to win it all. But how, what would this mean to you in your amateur career and where do you go from there? I mean, it, it would mean everything. It's so exciting. It's that, it, I mean, at the, my first fight was just to see if to see if I could do it, just to say that I fought, and then I was like, all right, I want to keep doing this, and I want to see how far I can go. So it's like, I guess naturally, like the next competitive step for me, it's the next goal, the next thing on my fighting bucket list. I guess you could say I want to achieve that. I want to earn it. I don't want to just you know win it just to say that I won it. Like I want to actually earn it and you know make it happen. See where it goes from there. <laughs> when you step in the ring, it was off in your mind that you definitely get competitive. Like, you see, the, it's kind of a scary switch that goes off. <laughs> and when you see your laser focus and yeah. you step in, what's going through your mind walking up to the ring, stepping in, and then your business? Ooh, I don't know. It's kind of like. So you come out just so... beers and hysterical and laughing up a storm. I know, I know. It's like Kelly's back the second the last bell's <laughs> up. It's like, we're, what happened? So, um, yeah, walking up to the ring. I can't, I don't recall like what I'm really thinking about. I think it's just, you know, I'm focused on like the scenery of what's happening right in front of me. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, depending on the opponent, I guess it's going to be different if I know them or not. I mean, all shout out in the world, shout out to the world to Lindsay for still taking that fight on 10 days notice. Um, after we would fought each other and then became friends, I don't know why we weren't fighting again. <laughs> but uh, no, she was super cool about that. But. Usually right before, you know, my music comes out, you know, Rick's hyping me up, whoever's in my corner's hyping me up, it's just kind of getting in the zone, getting ready to go. Now, when you see your teammates like Pat Carroll, and mm-hmm. Lisa, uh, Rick Schaefer, your coach, and they're getting wins at Madison Square Garden, they're fighting well. And yeah. What does that do for you when you see they're winning around you and oh, it's so you're training with them? So motivating. I mean, because then I have, I have to take a step back and think like, all right, I'm one of these guys. Like, I'm their teammates now. I mean, I'm obviously not pro yet, but I'm associated with them, so I need to be at that level too. I need to work just as hard. I need to be just as scary. <laughs> just as terrifying. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it pushes me for sure. I mean, watching those guys fight is crazy. It's nuts. 
I don't even understand. I'm like tr trying to run the social media, like not shake the camera because I'm so pumped up every time. It's crazy. So you're looking at the floor as you're yelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I was so scared about that. I was like, it's definitely really just me yelling and like the video like on my shoes because I'm not even like really living with them. But uh, no, it's good. It's always fun. So since you've had a few fights now in mm -hmm. your on your belt, yeah. Do you have like a routine of what you do? Let's say you get your war brains, as you call them. Um, you get the war brains in, you get ready to go. Is there like a routine you have set up before every fight? Uh, like the night before, that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, like we did the day or two before leaving. Day or two, day yes. Christy and I usually go to weigh-ins together. Usually, because usually we're fighting on the same card because we're inseparable. It's <laughs> the dream thing. Uh, yeah. But, um, but no, there's definitely kind of a subconscious routine, I would say. I mean, we got our braids on, whatever. And um, I always watch either Kill Bill or Cinderella Man the night before, always. I haven't found Both another another fight in violence related movie that like bumps me up the same way. So, or maybe I'm just superstitious and now like I have to watch those because that's what I've always watched. But um, yeah, morning off, I don't really have a specific routine. So, you know, I think I need to, I'm gonna. Well, I don't know. The last camp was a little weird because we had opponent switches and, and weight changes, so I felt a little scatterbrained for the last one. But I feel much more focused. I feel like I got much better direction. Of, you know, it's not just me and one opponent. Like if they pull out, what's gonna happen? Like we all have to be 142. So it's like we're ready to go, and whenever I fight, I fight. So I feel like it's much more directed at what I need to do. Now, there's really no one you could really prepare for one specific person because of the way the tournament's set up. Right. How are you going about it as a, your coach, your team, yourself, going about preparing for this? Is it just focusing on yourself, or are you kind of watch a little bit of video on everyone else? Kind of, like, let's keep this in the back of our mind, work on it, and then yeah. just push forward. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little bit of both because I don't think that I'm at a point yet where I can just focus on preparing for my opponents. Like, I'm still early enough in my career that I, I have things of my own that I need to improve on. Like, I've been pointed a couple things with Rick that uh, that we need to fix on, you know, um, he's told me, I don't tell him what I need to fix. Hey, Rick, you need to do this. <laughs> no, he's scared, don't tell me how that. So, <laughs> um, no, he and I have gone over some things that I need to work on personally, and we'll, we'll figure that out first. And then, we know a little bit about each fighter, and then we can pick it out as we get closer to the fight. Right now, it's more groundwork getting my own improvements done, and then we'll adjust a little bit here and there. We, we know all these fighters in the sense of like, social media is a thing. We can find fights on everybody. So we can cross that bridge and we come to it, especially since, you know, I'm not fighting all seven girls, so. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up. Yeah, I'm exactly. sure you would if you wanted. Yeah, that would be a lot. Not the same night, maybe two different weekends, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, just every night until April, it's fine. Um, but yeah, focus on my own stuff first, because I have a lot more to improve on, and then, Little by little, we, we have a gauge of, the good thing is the last round is in April, so if I do get that far, we'll have a couple months to figure out just, you know, what the game plan is for that one person, since it will only be one fight in April. Um, but uh, yeah, just one step at a time, just working on improving as much as I can, personally. And if you get crowned and become Queen Royal, uh, <laughs> Queen Royal, <laughs> is there a timetable where you want to go MMA? So just kick boxing. Okay, or is that so still here's lingering? Here's the thing, Kyle. <laughs> Every time I fight, I'm like, all right, this last one, kickboxing, and then I'm going to transition. Over. I say that in my head, I say that to my coach, to my teammates every time. And then I fight, and I'm like, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> then I can't help myself. I think, um, not this most recent fight, but the one in April. I wasn't even off the steps yet, and I was like, Rick, going to do that again. Let's do that again. Set that up. <laughs> like, let's make it happen. So, um, so, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm going to go straight to MA right after this tournament. That is my hope. But we'll see. So you're fairly green and also, to the ground game. Oh, very, very. I wouldn't do anything until Steve uh, from Freedom said that it was ready. So, and that's gonna take a while. I've definitely also, on the you know, the kind of unfortunate side is that when I'm preparing for so many kickboxing fights, I do unfortunately neglect a little bit of my ground game training, which mm -hmm. understandable for what yeah. I have, what I'm training for. But I mean, I kind of wish I had devoted a little bit more time to it at, up until this point. But, you know, no time like present. <laughs> Just get back into it. There you go. Awesome. Uh, cool. I had to tell Steve that I was still alive yesterday, so if that <laughs> tells you anything about how much I've been in freedom, then, you know. Yeah, still alive and kicking. <laughs> I had to post. I was like, proof. I was here. I'm alive. It's good. <laughs> uh, I left the you girls uh, after you have your fight, so if you go to the fights, then all of a sudden it's a night out. Tearing up and paying the town mm, rent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. How do people survive uh, after that? 
there's usually kind of a path of destruction, but in the best way possible. Like we have good stories. Yes, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, it's always fun. How how long do you want to pursue this? What's the goal you want to get? I know you want to keep going as much as you can, but do you see yourself as a limit, or do you see you think it's sky's the limit? I don't know. I mean, I just want to want to. If I get to a point where I shouldn't be fighting anymore, or I'm not improving anymore, and it's not working for me, then I hope that either I would realize it, or my coaches would be like, oh, I've got it. <laughs> but um, I want to keep going as long as I can, as long as it's working for me, as long as I love it. That's, that's a, like, if I get to a point where I'm not in love with it anymore, then it's not for me anymore. I mean, I'm fully in right now, and I, I love the sport, I'm like, competing, I love training, I love what it's done for me as a person, you know, physically and mentally and emotionally, so. As long as it lasts, it lasts. I, I'm hoping that's a real long-term thing. If anything, I'm always going to be around it. You know, mm -hmm. if I stop fighting at some point, never stop training. So. No, I said for like financial mm -hmm. uh, reasons, like a lot of people have to keep working full time. Yeah. I know a lot of the guys in our gym have full-time jobs mm -hmm. aside from training. Sure. Um, what's the goals in that department? Just, that, that is yeah. something tough because, absolutely, like, especially as an amateur, I get paid to yeah. fight. Yeah, well, I mean, I do still work on the side. I, I, um, I'm in my fun employment now, as I like to call it, in my uh, couple weeks break between, uh, yeah, in between leaving I Love Kickboxing and my uh, and my next endeavor. But also, I'm, I'm trying to go back to school and finish my degree that I didn't finish a couple years ago and, and see where that takes me. I have a couple different ideas of where I might want to take that, which wasn't necessarily my original plan when I was in school. So we'll see where that goes. And, you know, in the meantime, while I'm working up to that, why not take, you know, my younger, more athletic years in my life and use it for fighting when I can. And then I'll figure it out while I'm doing it and then after. <laughs> I'll have something to figure out after. Did you ever think in a while of dreams that you moved to here punching no. people in the face? Not even a little bit. No, no, no. It's crazy. It's still I'm so like surreal for you that you're doing this? <laughs> yes. There's always like a split second. Usually, I think it's, I think it's right when when my opponent's like stepping into the ring for a second sometimes I'm like what do I do <laughs> like what but then I'm like oh okay no you know it's whatever but it's just not even like it's not like a scared thing it's just like a what like this is really me right now like this is pretty cool like it's an exciting feeling so I, I don't want it to sound like a you know like a oh my god how did I get here yeah. it's a it's an exciting like I can't believe I you know three years ago I was 250 pounds Sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, thank you. But I mean, it's just if I had told myself then that this was going to happen, I never would have believed it. So it's an exciting little reality check when I see, you know, someone that I'm about to fight stepping into the ring. I'm like, wow, oh, this is pretty cool. So do you enjoy when you see your family on the holidays? You're going to hug them at all flinching? <laughs> no, 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 no. They, it's pretty cool. My cousins are all about it. My aunts are still like, "You're doing it again? <laughs> Why?" Because <laughs> yeah. um, that's totally what I told them at first. It was just gonna be a one-time thing. But um, no, everybody's super supportive of it, and I'm very thankful for that because I know some people, especially you know, it's. it's I don't want to say, say that it's like this for every girl that fights, but I feel like people are less inclined or less excited to see, you know, their girl family member fight because they don't want to see them get hurt or anybody for that matter. I mean, plenty of my guy friends that, you know, that, that fight, their families and their moms don't like seeing them get hurt or get hit. But, um, yeah, so I'm very thankful that my family supported it because I know not everybody's family, you know. Some people, like their parents, won't even go to the fight because they don't want to see them get hurt. I'm thankful all my parents and my, you know, my cousins and my aunts and uncles are like, yes. <laughs> it's a good cool. thing that the fights are at the end of the month. That mm -hmm. way, uh, Christmas when the spaghetti, the fish, and all the pasta gets thrown around the table, you're allowed to scoop into something. Like yeah, we're going to start cutting now <laughs> so I can have that one day and then we'll figure it out. But uh, <laughs> uh, we're just not going to talk about the coffee that I'm drinking. <laughs> But uh, no, no, I'm excited, and that's that's the cool thing is that I, I um, that's like a nice little reward meal for how hard I've been working. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. If I if I think about it that way, I don't feel as bad for how much I'm gonna eat on Christmas. <laughs> uh, I know I've asked this question before, but is there anything else about you that no one knows you like to share? Kyle, all right, I. I've been like trying to think of something because I know you ask me this every time, and then I'll think of something and I completely forget. But in the, and I was like a mile away. I was like, oh my god, I don't know what people don't know about me. And then I remember that I can't whistle. Can't whistle. I can't whistle. No. 
People tell me that and they're like mad at me. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't whistle. So people drive by with whistle and you can't whistle. <laughs> yeah, so just hard. returning the cat call. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, I just I can't whistle. I'm, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> I can't. Well, yeah, yeah. Kelly yes. whistle. That's, That's gonna be uh, the tag underneath you while you're fighting. That's my fight name. Kelly can't whistle Moyle. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> um. All right. And anything else you want to throw out there right before this fight? Oh. This fight's coming up. Because you got a lot of time. A month, almost two months before the fight. Month and ten days, I think. Yeah. That was just, yeah, Is anyone counting? We got deep already into <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's the 15th. Long. Nuts. But uh, no, I'm excited. Um, I, I'm ready to put on a show for everybody. You know, I'll see everybody twice that night. I'm not going to say hopefully. If I just, you know, take it into reality and put the training in and the time in, it's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, thank you again to everybody that has come out in the past for my, uh, for my fights or streamed it, whether they bought a ticket or just, you know, watch footage and, you know, give me a shout out on Instagram, whatever. It's cool. Like, I really, really appreciate it that, uh, that people want to take some time in their lives for that. And, you know, in the future, if they come to another one, we'll be for it. So. Awesome, awesome. And thank you. You donated your, your uh, proceeds last time to yes. uh, Breast Cancer. Yes, Breast Cancer Awareness. That's so awesome. Not Thank many you. people do that, especially being an amateur mm-hmm. fighter. You're not getting paid mm-hmm. other than the uh, tickets. Well, no, I still had a job at that point. So. <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> I don't, so maybe we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, good for you, though. That's no, awesome. no, it was, it, was, it felt something that like was important. It was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, too, so I wanted to figure out something to bring the two together. And, you know, I had, you know, a couple minutes where people were paying attention to me, so why not, you know, use that and, and, and do something good with it? while I have an opportunity to, so. Awesome, awesome. Uh, anyone you want to recognize or uh, shout out to? Oh, I mean, same as usual, same as make always. Flinch. No, I don't want to make anybody flinch. I'm not used to it, I promise. <laughs> um, no, I mean, my coaches, my teammates, Steve, Rick, everybody down in Nolan, it's everybody at Freedom, Chrissy, all the friends at, you know, Long Island MMA, you know, Ryan Blair, Eric, T-Rock, all those guys too, so. Awesome. Yeah. Best of luck. Um, Thank uh, you. In uh, January. Yes. See you then. <laughs>